Good day, everyone. So now our first lesson for Math 6 to 0 c Engineering data analysis is all about the data analysis definition, the methods of process, and types of this data analysis. So this is module one, the introduction to data analysis. So this um, upon at the end of this lesson, you are going to define what is data analysis? We're going to identify the different methods used in data analysis. We're going to explain each method in data analysis. Next, we will um, discuss first the course descriptions of this um, engineering data analysis. So this course is designed for undergraduate of engineering and IT students. So engineering, different courses of engineering. So this is, we have the um, ECE, BS, ECE, BS, um, IE, BSE, and BS, COE. And the IT students or the IT courses that we have is the BSIT, that is included in BSIT, BSES, the um, BS, um, IS and other IT um, courses. So those um, those students under this engineering IT will um, emphasis on problem solving that are related to societal issues. That the engineers, the IT experts, and the scientists are called upon to solve these um, problems. So this is also introduces some different methods of data collections and the suitability of using a particular method for a given situations. So the relationship with this probability um, to statistics is also discussed on this um, course, providing students with the tools they need to understand how chance plays a role in this statistical analysis. Probability distributions of random variables and their uses are also considered with statistical based experimental design techniques and analysis outcomes of experiments with the aid of statistical software are also discussed on this um, course. First, we will um, define what is data information and knowledge. So data, when you say data, these are the um, this, these are the most uh, elementary descriptions you know, of things, events, activities, and transactions. This is also refers to the collections of numbers or values that relate to a particular subject. When you say information, these are the organized data that has meaning and value. So for example, if you collect the data of these um, students, um, list of students, so in the information or the organized data of this list of students is the, um, um, the list of students you are referring or you are collected are alphabet alphabetically arranged. So that's what you call the information that has a meaning and value. When you say knowledge, this is the concept of understanding information based on recognized patterns in a way that provides insights to information. So we have to understand the information. So this um, collate um, data that we have is, um, so you have to understand it. So that is what we call the knowledge. Next is, what is data analysis? So this data analysis is defined as a process of evaluating data using analytical and statistical tools to discover um, useful information for business decision making. So the purpose of this data analysis is to extract useful information from data and taking the decision based upon the data analysis. So this is also the process of an aid in business decision. Okay. We have here the methods in data analysis. We have the data mining, the text analytics, the business intelligence, 
and the data visualization. First, we will discuss the data mining. So this data mining, this is a method of this is a method of data analysis for discovering patterns in large data sets using methods of statistics, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data bases. So when we say data mining, these are the tasks of discovering interesting patterns from large amounts of data. So this is huge amounts of data that we have to gather in different methods of statistics. So these are the um, data mining. Okay. In data mining, these are the goal of is of data mining is to transform raw data into understandable business information. So this might um, include the ident identifying groups of data records. So you have to identify the records of the data known as the um, cluster analysis so, or identifying all the um, records and dependencies between data groups. Okay, so that is the um, data mining. In text analytics, this is a process of deriving useful information from text. So this is also accomplished by processing unstructured textual information. So extract meaningful numerical indices from the information and make the information available, statistical and machine learning algorithms for further processing. So that is um, text analytics. In um, business intelligence, this um, transforms the um, data into, into actionable intelligence for business purposes and may be used in an organization's strategic and tactical business decision making. So here we have here the um, business intelligence. So this um, business intelligence is, is also important part of data mining or data mining is also part of this um, business intelligence. So they are the uh, combinations to this um, business decision making. So we have this um, data mining, the IT and this um, business intelligence, they are combined for the um, decisions of some of the um, company operations. In data visualizations, this refers to the visual representation of data. So in the context of data analysis, it means using the tools of statistics. Later, we will discuss about it. this um, tools. You know? We have the probability, FIGO tables, or also the, some tools that are used in the statistics and other artifacts that are used to present uh, the data visually. So in data analysis tools, this um, makes um, easier for the user to process or manipulate um, data. So we have to use this um, different software to, um, to make um, the users um, easier to process the um, data sets or easier to interpret the results of the data. So we have this SDSS that are also used by the statisticians to, to um, compute for the um, statistical uh, computations. So most of um, my statistical computations are being used in this SPSS. The Microsoft Excel are also used by the students in teachers. For example, if they want to, to manipulate or to compute for the grades of their students, this is very easier to compute because this is automatic. Um, automatically, you can compute this um, 
this grade. So SAS is what we call the statistical analysis software, which is also used to be in some of the um, companies for their statistical analysis of their company. The R, which is the R combination for statistical computing, are also used in some of the colleges and some of the professors in statistics. The MATLAB are also used by some of the schools for their math laboratory. Graph, uh, Pad Prism are also used for the um, visualization analysis or data visualization um, analysis of this um, data. No? For the interpretation suppose of data are also used for this graph Pad Prism. In data analysis process, we have this um, following process. Also, gathering of information using a proper application or tool, or tool which allows you to explore the data and find a pattern in it. So based on the information and data, you can make decisions or you can get ultimate conclusions. So these are the process. First process, we have to do the requirement gathering. So what are the requirements of this um, for example, you are you are going to make a research or thesis, so you have to um, to collect the requirements um, gathered. You know? So, what are the requirements for this research? Data collections is you have to collect the data or the requirements. Then, data cleaning is of course you have to clean all the collected data that is not necessary for this research. Data analysis and interpretations is also part of the process. So analysis, you have to analyze all the collected data and after analysis, you have to interpret it. What is the resource with this, um, of, with this um, research or thesis? So the data visualization is of course um, the um, final um, process which um, you visualize or you have to graph the data of this um, of this um, certain research or business uh, proposals no? so that the um, the uh, users or the one you have to pass these um, data visualizations you can the um, company can analyze the uh, the source of your output. So data visualization are used. For example, if you want to graph the uh, results of this um, of this data. Okay, so this is the um, data visualization. Next, we have the diagnostic analysis. This um, these are the types of data analysis. The data Diagnostic analysis, this um, answers the questions why did it happen. So, by finding the cause from the insight found in statistical analysis, this analysis is useful because you have to identify major patterns of data. So, for example, there is, um, there is previous um, research that you have. You know? So, the patterns of that um, previous data can can be um, arise in this um, new problems. So, or there is a pattern. So then you can look into this um, analysis to find similar patterns of the problem. And it may have chances to use a similar prescriptions for the new problems. In predictive analysis, this predictive analysis shows or answers the questions what is likely to happen. So using previous data, the simplest example is like, if last year I bought two dresses and based on my savings, and if this year my salary is increasing double, then I can buy four dresses. But of course, it's not easy like this because you have to think about the circumstances like um, chances of prices of clothes is increased. So you cannot buy this um, dress anymore, 
but instead you have to buy um a new necessary things so for example buy for that you, you want to use you know, and of course you want to buy a house no? so this prescriptive is um, mostly um, the pattern of from previous also which is um, make most um, of your of your decisions for for now so this is um, the predictive analysis and in prescript prescriptive analysis this um, combines the insight of all previous analysis to determine which action to take in current problem or decisions. So this prescriptive analysis, most data-driven companies are used utilizing this, um, this prescriptive analysis because um, predictive and descriptive analysis are not enough to improve um, the data performance of their company. So they are using this prescriptive because this is um, based on the current situations and problems of the company. So they analyze the data and make decisions out of it. Okay? So that is the type of data analysis where diagnostic analysis, productive um, analysis. You have the pre prescriptive analysis and you have the predictive analysis. Okay, so, so that's um, our lesson so for today and see you next meeting. Thank you for attending our class. Okay, bye.